Today on Food Journey, I've invited Ifoma Okoye from Crystar Delight, creator of amazing cakes, my cake inspiration, and also now a fancy dessert chef as well. Together, we are taking on some difficult, but actually doable tasks as we share the hard stuff. Hello and welcome to the Food Journey Kitchen today. I'm here with Ifoma Okoye. Welcome again. Thank you so much, Sonia. I'm so glad to have you here today. Thank you in your beautiful kitchen, of course. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and Bless today, you. you and I are going to be doing the hard stuff. The hard stuff. That's and right. I'm, I'm glad you are because I thought you might be the best person to try these three challenges with recipes that people most often think are a little bit too difficult for them so stave away but today you and i having done a little bit of studying are going to try three things should we tell everybody what we're going to be making today yes we should okay we're starting off with a deboned and stuffed whole chicken followed by chocolate souffle and then topping it all off with a spun sugar dessert Fasten your seatbelts. So Ifoma, since the last time I saw you, I know you've had some developments with your business. Mm. What's been going on? Okay, first of all, Sonia, so the last time we met, have you actually baked a cake and decorated it? Uh, <laughs> no. Are you serious? I'm sorry, I do confess. It's just that I'm actually not a cake eater. So the instances where I have to bake and, and decorate a cake are not often but one thing i do know is when i do decide to do that i'm going to be taking in all your instruction and remembering everything and come out with something classic which i'll share with you okay perfect that's us <laughs> that am i off the hook yes you're off thank goodness yes since the last time we met you know initially i was into cakes and then serving foods but right now i've dabbed into fancy desserts <gasps> I've recorded started a mini video with my daughter on IG. Oh, I'm wow. trying to catch her young and build her confident level. So that's what I've been going on. I've been doing just fine. I love that, especially the part about, well, the fancy desserts, of course, mm. but exposing your daughter to this creativity because we all know that when you start young, oh, they yes. sort of take that on. And I think that she will also be an inspiration to other young people that she knows. I'm sure her yes. friends are probably yes, saying, yes, yes. wow. She's, she's equally very excited about the whole thing. She has the interest as well. That's she's fantastic. Very interested. Well, Done. Thank you so much, Sonia. So, okay. Ifoma, our first challenge today, and I think you're the right person because I'm taking you out of your comfort zone, hmm. is to get these two chickens we see here and actually debone the chicken. Hmm. And that means take out all the bones. Wow. Leaving none. Seriously? But keeping the chicken more or less intact. I think it's time for us to get started. Are you nervous? It beats, but I'm okay. You're okay. <laughs> you better be okay. <laughs> so we both watched the instructional video on how to do this. Yes. And do. I think it's time for us to get some gloves on. Oh, yes. And then we can have a go. Ha-ha. <laughs> I'm interested to see how this actually works practically. You know, the person who was showing us on the video, he's obviously done this. Over you know, and over again. Because he made it look really simple. Very, very. But I suspect it's not as simple as it, it seems. And that's why we call this our hard, hard stuff. stuff. Recipe number one. All right. I mean, that, yeah, it looks like you're having a, a, hard, a hard time, wait, wait, let me a hard time putting on your glove. <laughs> <laughs> I've not started the hard You're stuff. You've not even started the hard stuff oh yet. Okay, wait, we'll no, figure that out. Too. There we go. I'm going to sit my chicken up like this and I'm going to say hello. How about you? Hi, chicken. Hi, chicken. How do you do? Shake your hand. Aww. Get ready to be deboned. Okay. <laughs> so, the first thing we've got to do is I think he said, snap Bye. out the. I think let's move these out of the way, first of all, so we can get a clear view. 
You're gonna snap out the bone from the yeah, wing. From the wing. Oh yeah, snap Are you your ready? own. <laughs> ah. Ah. It's not that easy as as it seems. Okay, I'm gonna try snapping mine. Wait. Come on, snap. Wow. Snap. I got mine. <laughs> hey, the hot stuff. Yeah, don't be so so quick to celebrate. Uh, I wanna see that bone come out. Come out without okay, any flesh. Okay, on. look. I'm wow. Pulling I'm pulling mine out. Come on, come on. You need to come out, bone. You need to come out. Come out, though. You need to come okay, out. Give it a twist. Okay. Ha! Huh, here comes mine. Here comes mine. You see mine. us? Here comes, here comes. Doo -hoo. Doo -hoo. <laughs> na, 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 na. Got mine. Out. I can do this. I can. Yeah. Wow! Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm so excited, Tony. Okay. Yeah! yeah. Oh my God. As, as you can see, everybody, no, no flesh, flesh on the bone. So clean. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to snap. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You got Yay! yours. Wow. I did. Oh, my gosh. So after that happened, this is all like an empty pocket now. You still working on yours? Yes, I am. Okay. But I'm now going to cut this wing tip completely off. And there you see. We've got the wing tip. We've got the two bones from that other part of the wing out. Ha ha ha! How about you? Yes, I'm done. Look at that! Oh. You've got yours. So all you do now is cut, cut off this off bit, this. right? And then here we go. Oh, that's one side done. <sighs> cut through the breast in one line. and cut away the meat from the bone. No pressure. <laughs> Whose idea was this anyway? Yes. I know. <laughs> yes. Look at this pro go. I'm impressed. Slice through the drumstick and pop out the bone. And you'll have to do the same for the thigh bones too. Get in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're stuffing with fresh herbs and spices. Some fresh rosemary, which we're chopping up. This is looking good, isn't it? Already. Already. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Lovely. And I'm putting rosemary on. Oh, look at the look. Look at, the look color. at it. Look at it. This is exciting. Mm. This is the easy part of the hard stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you boy the chicken. Fold over your chicken now and cut into two halves. Secure this with toothpicks for browning in a pan before we pop it into the oven. Oh, lovely. That's beautiful. As soon as you put that in, I could smell mm. the rosemary. Yes, I think you got I a could. bit there that's stuck on the side. Fantastic. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to get started with these potatoes. They've been parboiled already. Mm -hmm. okay. And what I'm trying to do here is just put a little bit of color on them. Oh, oh. look at that. <laughs> Let's get the other one flipped. 
My serving suggestion, steamed courgettes and pan crispy spuds. Now get your chops around that. number one hmm done. done ready for hard task number two ready set this is one of the things that's scariest for me to do and that's making a souffle and we're making a chocolate souffle hmm. now we all know the reason why that's difficult it's because we need to see that it's risen beautifully and then break into that deliciously do you think we can pull it off? We can, with the right temperature, we can get there. Okay, and we're in your comfort zone, and yes. completely out of mine. So I know you're going to be bossy, bossy like you were before. Be making sure we measure everything and do everything. <laughs> so I have got our instructions written down ah, here, very since good. we're doing this for the first time. Okay. And it says the first thing we need to do is butter and sugar our ramekins. These are ramekins. Butter up your ramekins first. And now sugar them. All done. We're measuring out 100 grams of dark 70% chocolate. So if I'm on the next thing it says to do is melt one tablespoon of butter and add one tablespoon of all-purpose flour in a pot and whisk it on heat. Is that good? Yeah, good job. One tablespoon. Flour. And one, one tab tablespoon of melted butter. Oh, look at that. There we go. Right, let me get the... Okay. It says whisk it around. Okay, together. Good. Mm, good job. There we go. And I've got to do that until it gets a little bit thick. I've been told. And the flour is what's thickening it. Look at that chocolate melt. I like it. And look at that professional whisking action. Go on, girl. Okay. Whisk away while I find out egg. what happens next. The egg. Ready. The egg. Okay, I'm going to get ready to do that once you've whisked. Yeah. We're doing this. Fantastic. Look at that. Nice and silky. Fantastic. And I need to put in some vanilla. Don't look at me. I'm doing... Half a teaspoon yeah, with the cap. Teaspoon. Here we go. <laughs> That's it, honey. Okay. Don't complain. Okay. That was my eye measurement there. Huh? <laughs> Fantastic. Ifoma whisks as I add in three tablespoons of sugar, bit by bit.
open and you place. In it goes. Bye bye, Souffle. <sighs> now, the proof of this is going to be, of course, when it comes out. <laughs> will it rise? Yes. Or will it fall? Let's watch. Let's watch. <sighs> <sighs> it's rising. Not bad for a first attempt. Let's dust a little bit of cocoa powder all over this just for some fun. Okay, let's get stuck in. See how quickly they go down? Mm. Oh, look, oh at look at that. Okay, cheers. I don't have any words. For chocolate lovers. For chocolate lovers. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can use this with an ice cream. You could. Mm -hmm. Or not. Delicious. Wow. Mm. Yum yum. Chuck mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ifoma, we have done two hard things. Mm. And here we are doing the last yeah. hard thing. Okay. We're doing some spun sugar. Hmm. Okay. We saw the video. Yes, we did. And we haven't practiced. No. So no, we're going to no. have a go. I think after that souffle success, we can't go wrong. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I actually was surprised at the way the souffle was like up one minute and down yeah. the next. So it's like when you're serving that, you have to like, Hurry up, everyone, eat it now, now, now. <laughs> so we're ready to try this okay. one. The ingredients we need are simple. We just need half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of water on the heat. They say that we should not do what? Stay, don't stay. Don't stir. Just look at it patiently until it turns amber. Yes, caramel. <laughs> caramel mm -hmm. color. color yeah. Okay. And then we're going to do some beautiful creative things with it. Shall we have a go? Yes, for sure. Let's go to the Let's stove. Go. So you grab the sugar. I'll oh, grab man. the water. Let's put it all over here. So you have already measured one um, of, of the ingredients. So let's get that in there. Mm. Beautiful. And I shall do the water. Two tablespoons one and two. let me make sure that it's really exactly two that was slightly under okay there we go and now we wait the idea is to leave this alone on low heat and you'll start to see bubbles forming Wow, this takes a little patience, doesn't it? Yes. Waiting and watching and making sure that we don't touch it. I'm so tempted to just, but we're not supposed to. We're not supposed to. Everything in life is actually patience. Even cooking, baking, whatsoever you do, just have a little patience. That's right. And you get it right. Mm -hmm. And I think I can begin to see a little bit of color change yes, happening. I'm just seeing the this. slightest I'm seeing this. kind of yellowing going on before we get to beautiful amber. And look, like magic, here's our beautiful amber color. And what we have to do is let it cool down to the point where it starts creating a thread. Thread like. We're almost there. And the first thing that we're going to do, of course, is try to make a nest using two forks. And then what the instructions said is that before it really kind of like completely cools down, we've got to gather it up like so. Oh, and, we got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, we oh, 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 oh. got this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, we got this. We Look got this. at our nest. We got this. Oh, we got this. We got this. Perfect. We got this. We. Pop <laughs> <gasps> 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 
Hello, Golden Beauties! Oops, this is a little bit thicker. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting shape. It's all about having a go. <laughs> oh dear! Here we go. Let's see what this will move your hand there. Some ice cream that Ifoma has made by herself. And we're caging it in gold. And a bit of caramel. Well, well, well. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Gorgeous indeed. And I must say, we had a go. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this one kind of looks like a little bracelet, doesn't it? I'd love to have a bracelet like that. <laughs> and then we've got our little nest and our little sort of cage. Fantastic. It almost looks too pretty to eat, oh, doesn't it? You sure did a good job. I naturally <laughs> look so pretty to oh, eat. Oh, we did a good job. We <laughs> did a good job. <laughs> we did a good job. Yes. And okay. I really thoroughly enjoyed myself today trying the hard yes. stuff. <laughs> we did well, I think, you yes, know? Yes, yes, There's a did. first time for everything, don't mm -hmm. you think? Yes. What are your thoughts? Oh, in fact, <laughs> you look exhausted. I'm, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> short of words, but I really like this. It shows that there is no impossibilities. Just think about it, conceive it in your heart, and you can do it. I love that. Wise words, don't you think? And with that, we are about to say goodbye from Food Journey. We have some ice cream to eat. Yes, We've had a great do. time. And we hope that you will try some hard That's things. Stuff. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>